Good luck. Welcome back. It's time for week 108 of the Shogi Teaching Ladder. Um, so yeah, each week we seek to play a game and then review it with our opponent and see what we can learn from the experience. Welcome. Um, let's see. So let me try activating my bishop this way. Give me one second to fix my mic. Okay, the mic was fine, but this is super quiet. I can start to hear it now. All right. So here our opponent um, is playing static rook. And I think I'll do similar. Well, hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I'm going to close this diagonal and see what we can learn from this. So if they push the rook pawn twice, I could bring up the bishop to uh, defend here. I'm not particularly feeling like playing the sharpest possible line in this instant. Um, although I could certainly bring up the silver and hit this way. Uh, interesting. Hmm. So ordinarily I would... I was thinking I wanted to play a static rook opening, and I think I still do. I think I can still mix it up that way. Um, hmm. I'm not sure if that's unreasonable here. Silver, king, silver, silver, silver. silver. Yeah, so they could prevent me from doing a radical... Well... Yeah, let's, let's try playing this way. I'm not going to be able to completely force some aggression with my this silver running all the way over here. Um, now that I think more about it, normally Gota doesn't push this pawn twice so early. Hmm. It's slowly dawning on me. There's more I could consider than I'm currently considering. Um, out of visual interest, let's put a proverb up here. Not to assist myself, but just for the audience to look at. So I can push this pawn twice, which would encourage this bishop movement. And I don't profit from that. Um... Hmm. Okay, I'm going to defend these pawns. This does cut off the possibility of bringing my rook over this way. But I think it's fine. I admit being a bit perplexed by the way we've taken this. So the bishop's diagonal is open. They've not moved any generals yet, and this rook is bearing down over here. Alright, so... Hmm... I could push on the king's head. If this bishop moves out, I could move the silver up and continue pushing. Of course, things aren't going to go that way. Um, yeah, of course, the silver's pursuing my bishop directly or indirectly. So let's play this and get ready to protect my bishop's head. If and when this silver aims at this. So... Yeah, this blunts this diagonal. Um, one thing is odd. Hmm. 
Hmm. So it's like they're gearing up to play this pawn push and exchange bishops, but that's not necessarily bad for me. Um, if I push this, my silver could always move out. If I push this, this bishop could move, but... Um, Yeah, trying to solve opening theory questions in the midst of a game is kind of rough. If I push this, if they push, if I take, they take. I've not dropped... No, this square is loose. Um... I think this is sensible. So I could still tuck my king back here, but I could also build, um, what's it, snow roof? With the silver and silver in the center and this gold up here. That's a possibility. Um... Hmm. I'm still debating, like, why don't I push this pawn right in front of their king? They've built a castle that seems quite vulnerable. I don't get what they're doing. But I am nervous since they are attacking quickly. Um, but other than quickly attacking, I'm not totally sure what they're up to. So that's got me a bit nervous. Okay, we're just going to build this shape. So my silver and bishop support the pawns in front of each other. Um, if this bishop happens to get exchanged, then like this is a difficult shape for me. So I guess I want to avoid exchanging that bishop or be very careful about it so yeah the proverb uh, for the audience's reference for those who didn't see it on the screen says aim at floating pieces So that's something to think about. In the future, maybe I could make emotes trigger quotes. I'm not going to trouble with that right now. But yeah, right now it's... I think they're trying to figure out, A, what castle to build, whether or not to move this bishop, and um, B, how to attack. It's a bit much to figure out all at once, but my rook's just sitting here. Because I'm not sure how they're going to castle, so I'm not sure how I should attack whatever it is that they're going to build. It's a chicken and egg sort of problem here. Um, 
All right, this does reduce the range of this bishop. Um, I'm going to continue building this shape and see what they come up with next. I assume next they push this, but I don't know how they continue. Yeah, I guess they're trying to figure out... Okay, they do complete the boat castle, which is a nice shape. Um, here, I'm still unclear as to whether or not pushing this, exposing my rook on this diagonal is worth whatever hassle it brings. Um, I mean, this is where their king is, right? So clearly this is what I should be doing. But something doesn't feel right. I guess in due time we'll see what it is that I should have been considering. Also, I still don't know what's up. I've maxed out the audio volume here, but the site is still quite quiet to me. So, pardon me, I'm going to turn up the sound volume. We might hear more of an echo this way, but... Um, yeah, at least this way I'll be able to hear the pieces moving. So, this aims at trying to open this file. Maybe this is why I shouldn't have pushed this pawn. It's not my best use of time. Uh, I could push this now and then bring the rook over to join. Is there any reason not to do that here? Pawn up, pawn takes, rook over. Nothing can defend this. They could push in the center, but then the silver would be floating in a way that's vulnerable to the rook fork. So, another line. Pawn up, pawn up. Pawn takes, pawn takes, silver takes, pawn drop. I don't exactly have mate in that line, but, like, this is getting sharp. And this is getting so sharp. All right. Got my curiosity. And you might get my pawn in addition to my curiosity. If this bishop comes out, maybe the silver fights back against it. Like, I am... I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but I'm down on time. Not that that's the greatest consideration here, but... Yeah. What could be interesting is if the, both of these pawns got pushed, if I had time to move the rook over and push once more... I could be winning material. I don't have time to do that, but what I don't want to do is split up this castle. Although my king could try to run away from the split castle, it's it's painful. Um, but yeah, arguably, either this pawn move or this gold move might have been um incongruous with the rest of what's going on here and maybe my rook pawn move was like uncalled for i don't know so this might have lost a tempo i know i'm playing as second player as go to white but um yeah even with that sort of second player disadvantage I should, like, this is more dangerous than necessary. I don't see anybody else playing in such a risky style as what I seem to be doing, where, like, the head of my castle is vulnerable. And normally I bring up the silver and try to protect this point, but this time I just don't feel motivated to do that, because they've built this, and the rook is out here, and this is out there. I don't feel super motivated to try to protect stuff with, like, half their army still asleep. 
Um, it's not their fault. It's just my own motivation problem. Um, but yeah, I think I've presented us both some interesting challenges here. They, I think, would like to exchange bishops so that their king could move safely out of this. And I'm not interested in such an exchange at the moment. Not while I can still profit from hitting directly toward the king. Um, I just wonder why this was ended up being so effective. If it is. If it's not, then I'll be punished. But right now, it, it's looking like I've gotten away with this. I guess, yeah, some things stand out. This pawn move. This king moved twice while my king has not moved yet. Um... Those seem to be the two things that most stand out in this position. So, either this might have been too early, or this king move might somehow have been too early. These are good moves, just the timing might be strange. Also, welcome. Indeed, we've got a variety of uh, emoji to select from here. You don't even have to pay. These are like follower eligible things. So, but they're pretty fun. Um, I'd make them completely free and not require following or anything to use them, but. Um, that's apparently not how this site works. Anyway, yeah, I'm as stumped as they are, but my king is in more peril, I think, than theirs might be. Um, this pawn here, so this is 7-5, so this would be 4-5. This pawn 4-5 uh, thrust looks really complicated. And I should be looking extremely closely at everything here, and I'm just... That wasn't on my radar. Um... Okay. I have two ways to capture this. Um... Mm hmm... Bishop takes looks much too dangerous. Because um, I don't think my rook drop back here is crushing. It would be nice if it were. I don't think it's that extremely effective. Um, that said, I don't see how they succeed with a rook drop here. And my bishop is somewhat sad where it's located, and it'd be much happier elsewhere. So... Ah, oh, I could be... I could be lured into taking that. Bishop takes. Could be fun. It's not necessary. But boy... Um... Oh, jeez. It looks so fun. Um, hmm, a knight here too. Like if I drop a rook and then I end up capturing a knight, then the knight could be used here. This is hard to turn down. So if bishop takes, maybe they're just planning on pushing this and ignoring this possibility, but, um, man, where, what's the idea? What's the concept? 
Bishop takes, rook takes, pawn takes, bishop, silver. I don't see the next move. Um... Bishop takes pawn up, pawn up, pawn takes. Um, work over. I don't know. We've got my bishop in a bind. If I exchanged it, it would no longer be in this bind. Um, all right, I'm suckered into it. Let's do the content play. This is too interesting. Um, so... Yeah, I just don't see, like, what that does. There might be some fancy trick here that I'm missing, but the king is holding this goal in place. Alright, so, yeah, they take my pawn. I can move my rook over now, and this is fine. I'm looking and looking and looking. I... My rook needs to be active. Now they can take... Okay, they defend this pawn. So maybe this was the brilliant plan, but it seems hard to support this bishop. Um... Bishop takes, silver up. No, why am I allowing that? Pawn up first. I guess they're threatening to take this and then drop the bishop here and escape it back here or something. Um, bishop, silver... Bishop, bishop, rook, bishop, silver, bishop somewhere, it's my rook. I can't force a rook exchange, but with the silver gone, my rook could go here, but the rook's not going to promote. Um, hmm. So, pawn up, whenever this bishop does drop, I surround it, it promotes, I take it, pawn takes, um, I try to defend my king. Still, yeah, with my king completely in the center, that's kind of a non-starter. But uh, here, there might be something. Uh, 
Oh, they could drop a pawn, I could retreat. Then we've engaged in this fancy footwork for I don't know why. Um, but that would block their rook. They don't want to do that. Okay, if I take this, wait, if I push this, that might entice them to take my bishop. Or do some more responsible thing. Um, hmm. All right, so now I'm threatening to snap the pawn and run back. But also trying to, like, I don't know, secure a little safety for my king by making it more dangerous, I guess. I don't know. Um, I mean, yeah, I could snap it silver up. I could have always retreated back here, but that looked... I still have that option. I don't like it. Somehow. Um... But yeah, if I'd taken silver up, bishop back, pawn up, bishop back again, I don't know. Whereas if my bishop retreats completely to the edge of the board and they push this, I have take, well, they have lance takes, my bishop retreats, we exchange here, they drop another lance. I get a lance to attack with, which... Doesn't seem great. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. This is kind of a waste of a move. Perhaps even a loss of a move. They want to build Mino. Or maybe they're debating Anaguma. That'd be wild. Imagine pushing the lance here. Hmm. Okay, that's curious. That's asking for trouble. But maybe it makes sense. Um, I mean, I've been asking for a ton of trouble here, and I finally got it, so... Okay, we're going to try to defend this after having royally mucked it up. Um, yeah, this is going to be very rough. Um... 
a bishop exchange over here is going to cause, or over here, or cause challenges over there. But they could still defend their king better, but um, you know, the fact that they haven't completely castled is like my one saving grace here. If they built a complete castle, I would be doomed. Um, so if silver takes, they can drop a pawn. My silver could go off in no man's land. Alternatively... Bishop takes, they could fight either with the silver or exchange bishops directly. Um, either way, my castle is split. It's not good. I've had worse, but it's not good. Well, hang on. Alright, so I escaped this in one piece. In fact, I learn an open a castle shape today. So, um, yeah, you know that thing that they call the fortress? You know how there's a move order for it? Um, this is not that move order, but if they exchange bishops, my silver could actually go back and I could make primitive Yagra, this, the simple form of this fortress with just a gold, silver, pawn, pawn, pawn. I could actually go back and form that if we exchange here. So this thing I've been dreading is actually possible. Um, Consequently, they might drop a pawn and force me to do this exchange instead of themselves doing it. Um, if they force the exchange, what do I do? Well, I didn't think it would come to that. So here I take... And yeah, they are threatening this and then retreating and fine, whatever. Um... So I have to take this back, but I've got 30 seconds to think about it. They drop their retreat. They're attacking this way. I probably am going to drop a pawn here at some point. Um, I'm still trying to assess how dangerous this is. They could also, like, consider a bishop drop out here and then try to invade this way. I don't think that does anything. Okay, what they should do is try to blast the head off of this castle. They've already removed one pawn. If they could remove both pawns and then use their pieces, that'd be cool, but, um, it's not easy. If they pawn drop, I can retreat. They, they don't have a... They have this threat against my lance, but it doesn't win material. Okay, so that was the big idea here. Um, Is 
30秒。Yeah, that's not easy to deal with. 40秒。50秒30秒40秒50秒1234秒,秒1234 So the rook is attacking. Um, oh, wait, that, uh, okay. Hmm. 30秒40秒50秒1234秒I defend my king? Maybe? Um. I know that's a radical concept for me, but I think I'm capable of it. Yeah, I thought they were gonna. Okay, well, in time pressure, stuff happens. You got my curiosity. All right, here we go. Directly. Oh. All right, computer alerts me that I'm running low on storage space. It's the second time in a couple days. I have to fix something. Might just have to like remove a game or two. Uh, 
But yeah, here they're trying to break open this flank. They're probably going to follow with another pawn or two somewhere around here. With the intention of trying to get their bishop into this position. Um... So many details. All right, here goes nothing. I couldn't find other variations. I tried, but this looked safest. It's not particularly safe. Um, the thing that's scary about this is that the rook's floating. But yeah, other defensive tries seem to get me buried, so we're picking the offensive try. Um, Yep, saw that coming. Um, if I should retreat, they take this pawn, which leads to a hell of a mess. I think I go here now. Oh no, the knight attacks my rook. That's not so clean. Um. Hmm. I hadn't been planning on this, but here it is. My rook covers the 5-5 five, five square. This means that if they want to stop me from attacking on this file, um, they can't just move the knight up. If the knight moves up, I take here. It's extremely dangerous. So they have to block this check. If they do block the check, this shape is loosening up. Uh, there are more targets. Um, So means that bishop drops not going to crush me. I don't know whether to take. This looks interesting. So, okay, they could take this pawn. 
I accept that. Stuff happens if they do. Stuff being, I exchange bishops, bring my rook over, threaten to promote here. Oh, they do have a pawn to block with at that point. If they don't take this pawn, then they don't have the pawn to block with. Um, so if they chase my rook, I exchange here, then bring my rook over. And it's difficult for them to stop me from promoting. If they do take this, their lance is floating about. Um, and I could drop a pawn and chase their rook as well. All right. They do have a pawn to block my rook. Um, I could drop here and chase the rook. All right, the fire begins. I guess, yeah, once I chase the rook, I could actually pin my bishop, and I could drop a pawn to unpin it. Um, hmm. I've not played this right. This threat is large. My threat is not large. Because the rook can activate so easily. <sighs> yeah. Um, well, hmm. Sanjudio. All right, so I prevent this rook from promoting easily. Mm -hmm. It makes the predictable attack. Sharp stuff. Um Admittedly trying to provoke taking this pawn. It's a distraction, though, it isn't it? Like, um, clearly they're mopping up these pieces and promoting the lance. Why should they bother with my pawn? Again, I'm trying to target this king over here, but it's dangerous. <laughs> Yonju Bio 
if the rook takes, the rook's more vulnerable out here than it is back there. That's my point. Mm -hmm. I can drop a pawn. I could move my gold up to... There's stuff I can do to try to defend my king. Um... All right, I defend my king's head, thus freeing my bishop to move. Um, so this is still a weakness in the event that I do happen to get a knight. I don't seem to be gaining a knight. If I had one, I'd be able to attack strongly. I mean, this knight could eventually make it out, but that takes forever, and... Hmm. What I hadn't counted on is that if my rook... Okay. Well... Yeah. Um... Pawn drop. They take this. I only have one pawn to drop. I keep miscounting that. I almost trapped my rook I'm trying to read out some messy variations. We're not going to trap my rook this so easily this time. Lance drop. Lance, or bishop drop. The lance doesn't promote. Um... Hmm. All right, so I hit the rook. This I have mixed feelings about everything right now. Um, my rook's still floating. This is an extremely heavy drop, but I can't not finding anywhere better to put the bishop. And anywhere I try to shuffle, the rook seems to land me in more trouble. So that's how I ended up with this move. If I end up taking this lance, that doesn't end my problems. Uh... Mm -hmm. That defends their knight. It's so difficult to activate my rook. Sanjubio.
40秒50秒 1, 2 Alright, so they're gonna end up probably taking this knight now. I saw that coming. Um, the thing is, that's not fatal. That seems at least well, there's some tactics here. There's so much to read. My rook tries to find an active place to go. Oh. Right. They can block their rook to block my rook. Sure. That's possible. Um, mm -hmm. That collects my rook. So, yeah, I... Uh, this is going to be a mess. If the silver moves up, and if I move up my rook, and if they push this pawn, I take, they take... They've pushed all of their pawns. In theory, their king might be vulnerable, but not really. Oh. Interesting. This is defended once. If I drop, they drop, I take, they take. Sanjubio. So finally I make a push which blunts all right well this game is going places. Um, All right, you're going to have to... Oh, well, okay, I forgot about this night drop. I completely spaced out on the night drop. Um, this straight up loses a lance against the night drop. Um... Unless I'm willing to, like, give the rook. And maybe I am. Maybe I'm just overwhelmed at this point. Oh, 
I don't think I'm willing to give it up. What am I going to do with another lance, though? So, like, if my rook goes over and I threaten this, and we force this exchange, what can I possibly do with another lance? I don't know. Okay. That's a problem. Alright. I don't know what I can do about that. I can't run forever. We're going to give two pieces for two pieces, and it's going to sting a lot. Um, but yeah, I can't run from this forever. I, if I keep walking into traps like this, what can I do? Um... Let's take that. So we've suffered heavy material losses, um, and have gotten no closer to activating our pieces. Again, the saving grace might be that I've built a castle. I don't know. Um, Alright, let's try to use all of our remaining pieces. This is the slowest attack ever. But, let's give it a shot. Sanju Okay, that's two pieces piled on my silver here. Um, if I leave the silver there any longer, it's just going to be captured. Sanjudio. If I advance it, they take here instead and threaten me. It's not mate, but Go 
Let's retreat here, try to hold this together. So, yeah, my pieces in the corner are gone. Um, oh, I guess they could move this uh, lance up. I didn't see that. Interesting. Okay, but they don't. Um, they don't need to. That's a mate threat. run out of disk space again but yeah that is a mate threat so we have to take it seriously um wait no but i can defend this is fine What a dreadful position. But yeah, if dragon takes, uh, gold takes, prevents mate. This token is much too close to my king, so I'm playing this crazy silver move to displace it. Um, All right. Why should I not take that? Why is that not everything I hoped and dreamed of? Yes, there's some material loss there, but... It's fine. Like, I need to do this if I'm having inten any intention of staying in this game. Fine. Show me... Show me the next move. I played instantly because she did. Um, I don't normally recommend doing that. However... Um, I'm just slightly agitated how quickly, how slowly I'm playing, really, and coming up with poor moves and getting trounced on. But here, I think I have a point. And that point. Okay. And that defends against my potential bishop attack here. Mm-hmm. also threatens to well no, I'm barely holding this fort together I need to counterattack I think this is my best counterattacking move Hopefully I've not missed something else obvious here. But yeah, the threat is Lance Drop there trying to aim at the Rook, which at least in this turn has nowhere else to go.
they could block that. I could capture the blocking piece. They could recapture, and some sequence of things could happen. Um, but I think this is a reasonable way to try to activate my bishop. I guess they could drop where I want to use the square. And that would prevent me from using that square, wouldn't it? Didn't think of that. Oh, fudge. That's clever. Ah. Uh, okay. Holy moly. That is quite impressive. Um, Well, hopefully I'm not having another blind spot here. It's altogether possible, given the litany of everything else I've missed. Perhaps this is walking into something. Um, perhaps so. I mean, Bishop 5-5 five five seems quite reasonable. Uh, yeah, that's aggressive. I don't know that that works. Well... Works as a relative term here. Um, what's the next threat? I admit I'm I feel quite turned about by all of this. Um But I still don't see how this achieves what they're hoping for. Okay. Gold takes. Not seeing it. <laughs> yes, I play with fire, but um, I'm decently okay at playing with fire. Where's the thing I'm missing?
40秒50秒1234567891ゆっくりと30秒40秒50秒12345678910Hmm. I mean, regardless which defense I try, I'm going to have some buyer's remorse there. I think that's necessary here. ご。30秒40秒50秒1234567891ゆっくりと。30秒40秒
五十秒一二三四五六七Hmm. I had been thinking about this differently. Thirty All right, thanks for game. Nicely played. Cool. Let me go fix uh, the disk space issue by deleting some videos. I don't know what's up with my storage space, but um, apparently somehow my disk just constantly runs out of space. Right, let's see. So after we do post my mouse, or yeah. <sighs> yeah, after we play the game, uh, then we get to do the post-game analysis. That was uh, well played. Yeah. Uh, that was complex. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I guess I should offer. Should we uh, analyze from the beginning of the game? I know we're all quite excited about the end game, and we always are. Um, but if it's fine, let's uh, take this from the top. All right, cool. Let's do this. Um, great. Cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, this seems a little early. Um, uh, yeah. But maybe that's just in my perception. I don't know. Ah, they study uh, this third file. All right. But yeah, this discouraged me from pushing this pawn because, uh, yeah, they can counter that immediately with the bishop movement. Um, so, yeah, this is... I don't know. Um... So, like, uh, yeah, here they've played this rook pawn, they've moved the bishop, or... Uh, uh, I guess I should ask what this means. You mean, like, this kind of third file? Is that what you meant? Um, perhaps? Ah, uh, yeah, that's possible, being unfamiliar with, uh, Double static rook. Yeah, the reason we play these games is to learn things. So, I'm going to learn something from this game. I don't always play static rook uh, stuff. But, yeah. Um... Uh... 
Um, so, oh, your plan uh, versus... Yeah. Uh, so you were mentioning your plan. Uh, so I guess you're thinking I might want to play third follower myself or something. Yeah, Melkor mentions make sure to look at 34 later. I know for Melkor it's pretty late. Okay. Um... I mean, that's why we play the teaching ladder games, right? It's to learn. Yeah, there's rating points at stake. Um, it's possible my opponent's internet connection cut out again. Again. Uh, something about Songkin. I'm not going to let people just throw around a Japanese term and, like, let that be it. Let's have a conversation here. Um, I mean, yeah, what they're alluding to is that I might play third fall rook myself. But here we've both played a static rook opening. And I've played something I'm not completely, totally familiar with. S trying to play, like, snow roof or something like that. And it did not at all work out, because I didn't play it right. Oh. So, yeah, this is how we got trounced. Uh, so that our opponent prepped for us. Which is uh, totally fair. Um, and like I said, the point is, for me is to see, like, how can I learn something from this? Oh, alright, so... I could back up. Um, so yeah, you had a plan against this then. Um, so now, not only are we going to get into this game, but we're going to get the prep for the next game underway. Um, um, So her, her opening got confused here. Yeah, it's true. I don't play exactly the same thing every game. Um, far from it. Um, so this is what they had originally planned on uh, doing and seeing. And it's a, uh, this looks like a reasonable idea, right? Yeah, this seems uh, like good prep. Um, so I'm preparing to bring the bishop around this way. Oh. Yeah, uh, this catches me by surprise. I've seen it a lot. Um, so this is apparently how to bust me if I do happen to play third file rook. Um, oh, this silver is wrong. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so it makes more sense to play the silver out to the center. Spend one more turn prepping this. I probably still fall for it. Um, but yeah, this is how to try to force a bishop exchange. Um, so this is the lesson that we expected that I would learn. Um, yeah, okay, the idea is to make a quick attack, but not to be something. Uh, they're typing, it's okay. It takes a minute to type things. Uh, yeah, 
the idea is to make a quick attack, but not um, make tons of weaknesses. Yeah, and given the pacing of my play, it makes sense that you can, you could probably get a quick attack against me when, I'm, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. Opening study is not the finest point of my game, um, but um, yeah, this is a convincing. Yeah, with the silver out here, this over here, this over there, it seems like a reasonable idea. Um, let's see. I guess I could hand a uh, study status thing or sub host or host or whatever over to Melkor. Okay, I've given him full host because um, I don't know what these buttons do. Instead of sub host or whatever, it's fine. Um, so this is apparently the Joseki line. So yeah, I defend my king. I guess this time. I don't move my silver uh, to 4-3 prematurely. I guess that's the lesson here, is that while in many, many, many lines as Gota, I've forgotten to play silver uh, to 6-7. And this line, um, or silver 4-3, here playing silver 4-3 prematurely gets me in deep doo-doo. Go figure. Yes, that's a tense position, eh? Um, this file here, the rook file there, and this diagonal, yeah. Diagonal's always important, but they say not to push the center pawn in the bishop exchange, and yet here both players have pushed the center pawn in the bishop exchange opening. Except it's not a bishop exchange, because bishops are still on the board, technically. Yeah, there's... And then Alexei has his fun proverb about keep the gold for last, except when you want to keep the silver knight, bishop, or lance for last. Um, oh, hey, welcome. Yeah, um, yeah, feel free to comment however you want to comment through either 81 Dojo or through Twitch, whatever is easiest for you. Um, but yeah, welcome. Nicely played. Um. Swins a knight central exchange. That's sharp stuff. Um, so apparently this is how to refute third file rook. Oh yeah, that's fine too. Um, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, yeah, that's a sharp line. It looks. Yep. So, this seems like a pretty convincing refutation. It's a good thing I didn't fall into third file opening. Uh, I'm just kidding, but sure. Um, yeah, there's a lot to prep for. We're gonna play this as go to uh, probably a little bit less to prep for a center, but still, you can get some really sharp positions if you try. Um, so today I wanted to try something different because um, in recent months I've been playing my rook pawn up a bit 
earlier. Um, but then seeing this, I thought it, that this would be the most flexible thing I could do here. So like I was planning to move this out, this out. Um, hadn't really decided whether my king is going to dodge right in front of this while the bishop's over there, or whether I'm pushing this up first. Um, but that was my big plan, was silver, king, silver, and then hadn't figured out the rest. Um, but yeah, maybe I should move my king first. I got really carried away by the dual notion of defending this pawn here, but also maybe threatening to do this, but also maybe threatening to do that. Um, so I got a bit carried away. In addition to all of that, there's also this idea. I couldn't make up my mind during the game, but thankfully I just had to play one move at a time here. Um, this, I think, is good. So yeah, this exploits this pin um, by controlling this square. And so this obviously threatens to try to force a bishop exchange. And maybe in light of this I should keep the silver back here? I don't know. Um, but I did play uh, this here shape. And I'm debating, do I build uh, this uh, castle here, the snow roof castle? Or do I get carried away on some sort of early attack against the king? Um, so, I'm balancing attack and defense, uh, but soon get carried away. Um, so... Yep, I built this nice little castle here. Um, good, should think if a quick game, because I'm just king is near the file. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Um, I just couldn't figure out how best to approach this, but this looks extremely exposed. <laughs> So yeah, then my next idea is this and this, and this seems very fast. And I, to in my mind, this seemed like, I don't know. I could hit first and hardest. Um, it, to me, this looked quite reasonable. I think probably I would play this again. Um, up to this point, because um, this king just looks, I don't know. I'm not sure how they toughen this castle. I'm sure I'm playing Gota, but this looks like an interesting attacking idea. I really wanted to see what would happen. Um... Yeah, this is clever. Um, um, I didn't really know what was happening. I mean, that's not unusual for me, but still. Um, why do I always pick the more com the most complicated way to play the game? I don't know. Um, so, like, suppose I'd taken here. I assumed this was going to follow. Um, yeah. And then... Um, maybe I'd take here? This looked confusing. I guess you take here. Uh, 
Um, I don't know. I guess it doesn't take a lot to confuse me, but this looks interesting. There's a lot of ideas here to look at. Um, hmm. So in addition to that, there's like this. Or, yeah, I guess you could move this out here, sure. Um, let's see. I guess I attack, right? I don't know. If it... Like, I'm probably completely off base with whatever I'm doing. But this looks like a position I haven't seen before, and so I'm just drawn to it. Um, it has me very curious about how this game works. Hmm. So, yeah, this, I guess, is slow, but probably connects really hard with the opposing side. I don't know. Yeah, I'm quite confused. Maybe it's all fine. But yeah, so this captures here. Um, and I just try to hold my shape together. But also this bishop is pretty exposed. Um, without a ton of places to go. Right, so this plays there. Um, this, I'm not sure which way to recapture. Um, maybe this way? Bishop takes. So, yeah, this is a question of who's built a, a stronger castle, who's built a wider castle. Because, um, yeah, it's actually hard for me to break up these this gold pair. Yeah. This has got me stumped. During the game, uh... Yeah. During the game, I sidestepped this sort of stuff, um, where this pawn promotes, um... Um... So, instead I took here. Such a terrible waste of time in a position where I can't afford to, like, give up a ton of time. Um... So, like, something like this looks interesting. Um, 
But yeah, this didn't get played. Instead, we saw some other moves. I don't know why I moved the king. There's so much that should be happening and shouldn't be happening. So like here, this I could consider doing. Probably should consider doing. But, um, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a good defense. Um, uh, yeah, maybe I should be. Yeah, I misread a ton of things here. Oh, this is an interesting idea. So, if we do that... Um, that, that probably even provokes me to go back here. Oh! Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, what uh, she played was just exactly what needed to be played here. Um, somebody keeps recommending this move, so we'll look at it, but I don't think it does anything. Um, oh, Milk Horse has stopped. Earlier he had mentioned some move number 34. This. Alright, so... What's going on here? Velcro mentions this. Um... Hmm. So there's even fewer tactics than a minute ago. Um, what's so... Hmm. Yeah, I guess I should actually be impressed by that. Um... Yeah, the rook's fine where it is. Like, this is clearly what I'm intending here. Yeah, and then this looks interesting. Um, so we exchange here. But then what? This? Really? How does this work? Um, yeah, right. So I take back this way. Oh. Um, hmm. at this king. I mean, sure. I'm looking at it, I guess. I don't see the problem. I mean, the castle, my castle's gone. Um, but yeah, this, um, K 
tanking might be okay. But yeah, losing the castle like that's a bit disturbing. Hmm. I'm not alone here though, right? Like, I'm not the only one missing a castle. Um, actually, I could throw this in first, right? I don't think this is cut and dry. That looks exception. Yeah, this night move is way too dangerous. Um, hmm. If I don't check, then I do I lose my chance to check here. Sure, it looks that way. Uh. Maybe I take here now? So... Yeah, this is not so simple. Um... If the point is to demonstrate that, like, my castle's lost, fine, but I think there's more to this position. Um, actually, maybe I don't take that. Maybe I go back here. Oh, wait, but don't then they have this. Never mind. Um... Yeah, bishop drop six one might be too early here. But if not bishop six one, then what? Oh, this pawn drop. It's of some interest, sure. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That's a bit spookier. Sure. <laughs> hmm. That's more difficult to defend. Um, hmm. So this has me thinking now, what if I drop the pawn here instead? I don't have four pawns to do four consecutive pawn drops, so I could drop here. Ask if we're going to go back into the same thing. But yeah, they do have Boat Castle. Um, uh, yeah, maybe this isn't worth... I don't know. I like my pieces. <laughs> oh my. So... I'm not even up a piece, am I? I'm just up some nebulous attacking ideas that don't come to fruition. Yeah, I'm not sure about this. Everybody wants to look at that because it's check, but I think it's misplaced. Um, I don't think Rook 4 8. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot for us to learn together. There's too much for us to solve right now. Um, uh, but I think the key point here. Um, but my, what Melkor was wanting to show was this. So, 
So, so far we just looked at bishop 3-3. Three, three. Uh, another thought would be drop it back further, which was my knee-jerk reaction here. Um, again, there's probably a lot of stuff to look at. Yeah, I'm not sure that this blocking the bishop is necessary, but... Like, I'm not sure that the silver move is the best way for Santa to consolidate. So there's like this. Like, why even bother? Okay, fine. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, did we both? Uh, no. I, I wonder. Hmm. Let me just double check how we got here. Um, I wonder how this goes. But yeah, maybe this misses the point entirely. Never mind. Oh, I just don't know. There's something I'm missing here. Um, maybe that's it. Oh, but then this is a pin. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe Gota wants to first trade the bishops? Well, in this case, um, now this is just a clean fork, right? Um, so... Yeah, this is, um, it's, well, I'm not sure. Almost, not quite. Um, because here this is legal, right? Unless we're contending like this is just not possible for some reason, but why? Um... Yeah. Uh, so perhaps what... Maybe this is fine and best. Oh, sorry. This is the move that actually got played in the game. Um, and then we saw pawn drop 2-4, which was over here. And while that was quite strong, this might be even stronger. Um, the, during the game, I was starting to fret over that. Oh, uh, I guess figure out how to give them uh, study subhost status. So, we've given them whatever kind of hat that is. Um, Maybe I need to give them the complete host status? I don't know. Um. Oh. But yeah, in the during the game I was starting to fret about this. This looked really messy. Um. 
but maybe it's nothing. I don't know. I um So this I guess is similar to the game. Um But yeah, this disconnects the... Wait, a second ago we were looking at some ideas trying to target this silver in the center. Why did I stop looking at these kinds of ideas here? Um... I don't know how to attack. Um, like, so there's this kind of idea, there's this, there's potentially this. Um, there's too much for me to look at and try to make sense of any of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, this looked interesting. So this threatens both this promotion and this promotion. Um, yeah. I during the game I was thinking about lines like this. Or here I've got oh, yeah, you could do this, sure. I was thinking about this honestly. And trying to figure out like is this playable? This is sharp to say the least. Um Maybe this here? I don't know. Yeah, I assume that Senta is winning this, but during the game I somehow talked myself into this. I'm not sure how I did. This looks really scary. I really wanted to attack, and this lets me briefly attack, but I lose everything, so it's just not worth it. Um... Anyway, we're looking at a lot of hypothetical stuff. Yeah, so this, I think if you retreat here, I just have to take it. Um, okay. Thanks, and good night. Yeah, it's quite late for Melkor. Sorry about that. Um, this is kind of a mess. Um, some scent is better, but yeah, this, this I don't know. It looks not easy at all. Um, Alright, so instead... Um, yeah, I guess we'll end up back, looking back at the game moves. Um, yeah. Let's 
so um, this retreat uh, surprised me. So this just ended up losing a move or sent to the way it played out. Um, but I don't know. I assume it's fine. Santa still has a better castle than I have, but again, this maybe got me overconfident. Um, I played a super cowardly move, though, trying to, like, beg for life. So I tried building this here. Uh... Uh, who is Tokyo Peach? They're my opponent in week 108 of the Teaching Ladder. So, uh, yeah, they won this game. Um, by attacking very cleverly. Um, yeah, so this was aggressive, but I guess aggression is called for here. Uh, I didn't, yeah, uh, seems uh, well-timed, given my lack of a castle. So, yeah, this perfectly exploits uh, the holes in my position. So, yeah, this, uh, while in other positions this might not be the perfect attack, here it very well might be. Um, and yeah, maybe, maybe here I just need to take this somehow. I don't know. So if I take this, um, then yeah, the, this is the big threat in the position. And, oh, the bishop there? This is the threat. Right, so this doubles on this square. Um, and so... What all was I looking at? Um, hmm. Hmm. So I can't trap this bishop, can I? Not for a complete win of material. Um, So, I wonder, maybe I drop back like this. Maybe this is the calmest way to try to approach this position. Um, yes, yeah, so the bishop takes, I assume. Well, that's Blake here, pointing out these arrows. Yeah. Um so like this actually covers a lot of territory. Um this isn't so easy for the invader. So maybe I just need to like not lose my head about it. Um I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Blake's contributing 
the ideas here. So like, that's the obvious threat, which can be dealt with really easily. But there's a lot, I don't know. It feels like there's more to consider here. But I don't know what specifically. Oh, right. Well, no, that was... Uh, um, that's kind of tricky. Yeah, that would have been my instinct just to take the pawn, but the pawn drop... My, I don't know. It's also to altogether possible that this rook advance might not be very smart in the first place. Um, so maybe this is the best way about it. So this also bears a threat of something like this and that. I don't know. But with that, then I'm threatening this. And the idea is if that happens, then this is a threat. Therefore, maybe the rook shouldn't go back this, or the dragon shouldn't go back that far. Yeah, they could retreat elsewhere, sure, but this probably bears a better threat. Um, so yeah. Oh wait, shit. This, uh, I missed that. Never mind. Um, so yeah, I have to go back like this. Um... And it's not, it's a loss of material, that's what that is. Um, this goes over this defense, and I think I survive it. Um, that said, so if that's so good for me, then maybe this needs to be played after all, despite being a bit complicated. Um, But yeah, well, that's a kind of fun move, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, maybe this is just outright refuted. So, imagine that. And this blocks the diagonal, I guess. Um, hmm. So what can I do next? I'll just play this anyway. Yeah. So this dragon's overextended here. Um, so, yeah. Bishop takes gets into a rough spot. Well, hmm. yeah, maybe the invasion doesn't work. Maybe at least not with the bishop. I get wanting to invade, and certainly in the game it worked. Uh, but maybe this is more interesting. During the game, this is what I was more concerned about. Because uh, worst case, if that bishop drops and I end up losing some pieces, my king runs away and it's fine. Um, here, I don't know. Here it's not totally obvious. Although maybe that's not it either. Maybe this is the right move. Um... Yeah, this looks more interesting. That's a, maybe a one move slower than the other attack, but um, I don't know. <laughs> Tokyo Peach is the new and improved line main. Could well be. Um, uh... Yeah, so I don't know whether or not it actually works against best play, because edge attacks are complicated. But uh, clearly in the game, it just crushed me.
Like, I did not defend correctly. And I still have no idea how to defend this. Um, so, yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, I am quite confused, as I keep saying over and over and over again. Um, yeah, the invasion was successful. I didn't refute it, so... If there's something you want to look at, uh, I guess be my guest, but, like, I, I'm out of ideas. I just really don't know. Uh, at this point, like, I know I've suggested so few ideas as compared to our audience, and yet, um, yeah, that's, it's just been a really confusing game for me, because, uh, I played something different, played something because, uh, I suspected my opponent had prepped for me, or at least I suspect that some opponents do, and so I want to not play the same thing every time so that it's a harder to prep for me and b i can actually learn all the openings and all the castles and all that yeah uh. oh yeah i got my rook trap that was funny and here i try to untrap it and it just gets worse but yeah Yep, she attacks well through that out the game. Uh, yeah, that's a cool idea. Oh my goodness! Wow. Yeah, that that hits hard. We both missed that one. My bishop's just floating out in no man's land, and yeah, uh, my king is completely surrounded here. Um. Yes, I try to put together a defense, and I almost succeed. Um, but, yeah, I get out red, and what can I do? <laughs> My bishop has to dance back and forth. Yeah, I don't have any choice here. Yeah, that lands with gain of time. I almost got away with it. <laughs> uh, almost defended this. Yeah, I don't know. You think this works? Hmm. I mean, taking is the most natural response. Uh, yeah, here I would take, sure. I don't understand. Oh, they have another knight. Alright, so we keep going. We keep going. I guess I made it here. Or am I? Um, I'm not sure. Okay. So is this the idea? Um, let me see. How might I try to survive this? Oh, hang on. That doesn't at all work. Never mind. Um, so, wait. Really? I have no way to defend this. That's... That's amazing. Huh. Interesting. So... Wow. 
Um, is there no way out here either? No. Okay, well, geez, how do you find that so easily? But also back here, I was remarking, maybe I don't take this. Um, just given how dangerous that position is. But yeah, moving my gold, it, okay. Yeah, maybe my moving of the gold is fatal. And I shouldn't have done it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. I thought I had this situation under control. Do I not? It's spooky, but... Um, is it more than spooky? It's either mate or not mate. It's going to be one of the two. But... Um, during the game, I couldn't see a way to mate this. Maybe in the post-mortem we'll find something here. Um, hmm. This is actually somewhat interesting, this move. Because if the gold takes, then, like, this king is extremely thin. Um, so something like this and this, and I don't know. Maybe it's just crazy. Um, yes, that's a threat. So I'd have to, like, run here. Oh, but then maybe knight up anyway. Um, yeah, there's some threats here. Dang. That looks pretty fatal. Um. Hmm. So, against this, something else would have to be tried. Something, I guess, like that. Is this still fatal? Um, that looks hard to defend against. Um, sometimes this rook laterally can save the king. This might not be one of those occasions. Instead of silver 3-1, why not dragon takes 6-1? I don't know. Don't know. So we're looking at this now... Um, and hmm, yeah, okay, yeah, maybe this is still lost. Um, Wait. Oh, wow. Do I have to sack the rook here? Is 
So at this point, my king might be running out of this, but um, if I can run, there might still be some hope. Oh, wait a second. Then the king doesn't run anywhere. Oops. Uh, yeah, that kind of hurts. At least... Well, maybe. Maybe this is fine for Senta. Um... What a mess. No, well, the pawn move is what I was look or pawn drop is what I'm looking at. Um Hmm. Does that mate? Are there any tricky tricks here? Then silver here. Rook takes. Oh, that's mate. Nice. All right. Yeah, so it turns out that defending in Shogi is extremely difficult. See, I think this rook drop counters all resistance there. Somebody had asked, instead of uh, silver drop 3-1, wherever the hell that was in this line, uh, somewhere, why not dragon takes 6-1? 5-1. Uh, so instead of this, why not just take that? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh... But yeah, this uh, certainly played out to mate in the game. Um, so, yeah, we're... Yeah. Uh, yep. So, yeah, they attacked well. I defended with some spirit, but not with enough skill, and just got clocked. So, um, yeah, it's important to play good moves. Yep, cool. Yep, see ya. Yeah, so it's a bit later where they're at than where I'm at. They've got to go. I might, <laughs> interestingly, Berserk also has to go, or decides to depart. That's fair. Um, so we have spectators here, sure. Uh, but yeah, let me put this on the big board. Final remarks. So yeah, I thought we got an interesting opening, and uh, I'm judging the game I'm judging the opening by the end game result, and that's not appropriate. Um, yeah, so from the outset, this opening was sharp. To a point, I'd probably still play much of this again, because there's still a lot to learn from it. Um, this shape... I mean, if I had to pick one thing in this structure to do a little different, uh, this is fine. I didn't have to push the Rook Pawn in order to do this, so if I'm looking to save a move in the future, maybe don't push the Rook Pawn so early. Still, like, threaten the Sleeve Rook stuff. This could still be quite effective. Um, I got drawn to the flame here. Yeah, the Bishop takes is horrible. I thought it was fine. Uh, I thought if I did pawn takes, there'd be lots of difficult tactics, but it, the tactics were just as hard in the actual game. 
this bishop advance probably could be punished if I played accurately. But it requires many accurate moves to punish it. So, like, I mean, one, two, and then chase the bishop. And, yeah, they have time to build a castle, and it's my fault for moving the bishop over here. Making this whole position really complicated for myself. But, um... Instead, I tuck my king into the... This was a waste of time. This encouraged the edge file attack, which struck during the game when I least expected it and most deserved it. This pawn exchange uh, didn't quite work. Um, I'd expected this here, but this can get pretty complicated in a hurry. Um... I was concerned about this rook coming over and promoting over here. So during the game I was debating, do I play like this? Do I drop a pawn in front of my king? What do I do? They do have a bishop in hand, so... I might have done this. I don't know. We never really got to that during post-game analysis discussion, because everybody else wanted to look at other things. But this, as played out, just lost a move. Um, but yeah, then this edge file attack struck, and I just couldn't... I didn't defend well. Um, I needed to defend better, much better than I did. And yeah, I just mentally came apart here. Um, during the game, this occurred to me. I didn't mention it aloud. But this might have been another way to defend. Um... So, yeah, again, I was concerned about stuff like this. That's tricky. Um, but, yeah, I kept trying to attack and attack and attack and spend as little time as possible on defense. And this policy uh, is only so profitable. I thought that I would be able to win this. Um, but... Yeah, I did not play anywhere near patiently enough, and uh, my opponent clocked me. I trapped my rook multiple times this game. Um, you hear this attempts to untrap the rook, to which my opponent promotes. Uh, yeah, this had occurred to me during the game, but obviously uh, this is possible. Um, perhaps even this is possible, I don't know. It's just such a mess. So, yeah, I also tried to consider this, which has some other ideas. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Well, at this point, I was thinking, like, this knight drop lands. And, oh, wait, this pawn drop would be Nifu, so they can't do that. Hmm. Yeah, so this could have been interesting, too. There's much that went explored and much that went unexplored this game. Um, but my opponent found a lot of good moves. And I just straight up collapsed in time pressure. I tried very hard to defend this. Uh, this was too aggressive. I got impatient here. Um, yeah, a more patient move would just be pick off the knight. You know? Yeah, everything's on fire, but there's still time for some moves like this. So, I just showed zero patience whatsoever. Um, and, yeah, many spectators after the game pointed out lots of good attacking ideas. But um, my opponent played well enough to crush me, and that's what counts. Hope we've enjoyed this game. And best luck to everybody participating in the teaching ladder this week and in the future.